Hello, hello, DRock here. Welcome to the channel. Water, and lots of it, is what created the contours of what is now called the Great Basin Desert. For some time now, I have been exploring in parts of this desert along what I believe to be the shorelines of ancient lakes or wetlands, along ridges and hills that overlook these ancient bodies of water. And I find artifacts or the residuals from the making of artifacts in all of these places. It's fascinating, and the best part about it is the human connection. What do I mean? Simply this. To come across something that was made by another human that could be hundreds or even thousands of years old, and that object was used to aid in that human's existence. That person had to find that material, had to shape that material, and then had to use that material. Imagine all the events that occurred surrounding the gathering, making, and using of that artifact. It's simply fascinating. And after spending significant time in different parts of this desert, it's clear that people have been here for a very long time. No doubt, people have been living in this desert all the way back to a time when it wasn't a desert. So join me as I head out to discover what once was. Buenos dias. Well, I'm in a new area and I'm uh, kind of in the, well, I, I'm in the Great Basin Desert, but I'm this area, I, I was doing a motorcycle trip recently and I passed through this area and I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. And from above, really, you can tell that this is just a long winding stretch that was cut by water. And um, it could have been a body of water. It could have been a lake run through here. I don't know. Lots of things. I, I always talk about this while I'm out here because I find these places. I check it out on Google Earth and it's just, I mean, it's obvious it was made by water at one point a very long time ago. Uh, now, of course, there it's dried up, but that's, that's how it is. So um, to the east, I had spent... I'd, did multiple videos of an area where there's just so much lithic material everywhere in every direction for literally miles. And I've come further west and I wanted to see if I would encounter the same thing because I'm kind of in the same type of situation where I'm at the bottom here of uh, a ravine, I guess. And I'm going to go up to the tops here and I'm going to just start walking. And it looks like this area has been logged pretty good. I don't know how recently, but it does get to a wooded area. But this is good. This is going to uh, allow me to have a look at the ground. And you know the story as I walk along. And hopefully I come across anything interesting, something interesting. But I'm going to keep my expectations low as usual just so I don't get disappointed. All right, so you can now get a better idea of what I'm talking about. The truck's right down here. And it just goes on. This was obviously made by water at some point. And it's it's deep. It's really deep. It's pretty wide, too. And it just extends probably for a mile or so. It may connect to something, uh, a larger section down there. So I'm gonna, we've come to the top. We're going to wander this. Now, miles to the... East is uh, where I was uh, making multiple videos, <clears throat> excuse me, of an area that was, I believe a, uh, it was definitely a place where obsidian was readily available. I was, I, I was pointing out all the obsidian nodules and there was just lots of evidence of lots of people, probably over thousands of years that would come to that area, produce tools. And those tools 
made their way out here and were traded probably to the east, to the west, to the north, and to the south for whatever purposes. But there's so much lithic material out there that the area was probably occupied and in use for, you, you, you name it, forever because of the availability of the obsidian. Now where I'm at right now, I'm miles to the west and I'm not seeing anything immediately on the ground, which is interesting. That's very interesting because over on the eastern side, I was on top of lithic material immediately, wherever I parked, wherever I walked, and I'm not seeing anything right now. So this is interesting. So hopefully today, while we wander up at the top here, people would have been in the higher, uh, for lack of a better word, higher elevation. That way they could see things. They could watch animals as the train in the distance. So you can hear it probably. It's the tracks. Yeah. Um, hopefully we actually come across some, some artifacts because all that, all those tools they produced, whether they were knives, spear points, scrapers, darts, all that stuff, well, they used it. So maybe, maybe I'll come across some of those artifacts out here today, or maybe I'll come across nothing. <laughs> you never really know. Okay, just when I get to the top, once again, here we go. <laughs> obsidian lithics. For a second there, I wasn't finding any obsidian. I was like, wow, this is great, because I'm so used to just finding out here, wherever I stop and pull over, just obsidian lithics everywhere. And I was kind of like uh, thinking that I wouldn't come across any so quickly today, but I was wrong. It's, uh, they're everywhere once again. So, is that? Oh, I thought that was a piece of pottery. No, I never find pottery out here. Um, well, I've always, I'm correct already. So there's stuff up at the very top here. As you can see, they would have had good views, so. People were hanging at the top overlooking what might have been, as I've mentioned so many times before now, out here on the edges here of uh, a body of water at some point in time. Yeah, there's flaked obsidian all over the place. Oh, and I just, oh, I just found a point. Oh no, uh, we gotta go in for a close up. Okay. I just came across a point here. Oh no, just on the surface. Wow, man. Look at that. Uh, fractured, of course, but at least I found the point. Wow. Check that out. That sun's maybe a little difficult to see. It's kind of. At a, the angle of it's creating shadows, so it's hard to see. So there's the train in the distance. Look at that. Look at the detail there. Wow. So what do you guys think? Dart point? Spear? Arrow? Interesting. Man, the day's already started awesome. So there we have it. This is good. This is a good sign. Look at that. Yeah. How oh, great. So more than likely, uh, any artifacts I come across today are going to be obsidian, just because I'm that close to, or I'm right on top of, where obsidian would have been uh, gathered and processed. But you never know. I might come across something from Chert. Flint. Never can tell. And as I mentioned, I never come across pottery out here, or I haven't yet. I presume 
that obsidian tools might have been traded for pottery to the south, but I could be wrong. So until I do find some pottery out in this particular area, I'll just have to think about it. So I've done a good kind of circumnavigation this whole area and I've only come across that one one area of uh, obsidian lithics. So someone sat right there in that specific spot and napped a point and that point I found might have been the result of that all that lithic material. That's kind of interesting. Maybe not, but I haven't I come across any more. This is really interesting because as I mentioned earlier, um, a few miles to the east is just where there's plenty of obsidian and then there's just nothing here. So that would, that explains some things. Um, over there where I was pulling up obsidian nodules, I mean, think about that. You just pull up a nodule and you're on your way and you've got, you've got the, the means to make a tool wherever you end up. It's kind of convenient, you know? You just take a knee or take a seat and nap out a point and you're in business. Or you could sit there with lots of other people and make your, your tools there. I, I just wonder in that area if uh, it was um, protected, if it, if it was owned, if it was uh, occupied because there's so, there's just piles and piles and piles and piles and piles of debris. And that would have accumulated over years and years and years and centuries and centuries. So, oh, well, speak of the devil. Here we go. Here's an obsidian flake. Yeah, this is such a fascinating area. Huh. I wonder if it was controlled, you know? Fought over. It's a resource. So uh, this is interesting. So I've got some different materials here, all uh, all lithic, napped. Look at that. <clears throat> right there, I've got obsidian, thin chert. And that looks like maybe quartz. I'm not sure, but this has all been uh, worked or flaked off of something core stone. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, I keep getting into more lithics. So scattered about right on the edge here at the high point. Still finding obsidian lithics sporadically as I meander along the edge of this rise. Huh. But so far only one point. That's how it rolls. But lots and lots of evidence. Well, I can't say lots. I've, I've definitely found more. But there's plenty of evidence. I should just say there's plenty of evidence that people are hanging out here. All right, I've come back to the east a little bit. I've changed positions and wandering around. Um, the morning was kind of uneventful. I found some spots, found a point, but uh, I really didn't get into any thick concentrations of lithic material. However, I, I did find enough to obviously uh, show that there were people in the area, of course. So uh, definitely a successful morning. So I thought I'd spend a couple more hours a different location just wandering around so i came back east a little bit and yeah that's the plan so it's already getting man it's already getting really hot we're just going to go up in the hills here and kind of wander here for a bit maybe an hour or two before it gets really cooking and then we'll hit the road but you know see if we can come across anything else whoa we just got a nice piece of obsidian right here just on the surface well, i'd say that's definitely been worked hmm Maybe uh, not finished there. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Yeah. 
Might be back in the action here. So here's an interesting, you can see the drainage going up like this. This is where water's come down and cut a path. And it's already uncovering. Here's some obsidian here. Big chunks of obsidian. Lithic material. So definitely back in the action. <laughs> so I've come up and down and then up again. And now I'm at this nice flat spot right here. And boom, in it. You can see, well, it's pretty bright with the sun directly overhead, but all these black specks, it's just everywhere. The ground is covered with obsidian lithics. So this would have been a good spot, nice level spot. It's not just obsidian here, I'm seeing some chert as well. But it's, it's literally covered. And of course the camera's not gonna really pick it up as well, but if I get close, you can just see all the black. That's just layers of flaked obsidian where people sat right here, made their tools. Um, it's just the whole place is covered. Will I find a, a, a decent artifact here? Probably not. This is all, essentially what this is, is like a trash heap. So I'm gonna walk around the area kind of slow and I, I wanna point something else out. You see these tracks right here? That's cows. So cows, like I mentioned earlier, free range, they go back and forth, they're all over the place. So uh, they snap and break artifacts all the time because things get uncovered. But I just wanna point that out. So, once they're broken and shattered, they're lost for time. And, yeah, this would have been a good area. Level, yeah, that's why there's so much stuff here. It's a nice, it's a good place to sit and work on tools versus up higher up where it's just rocky and uncomfortable. This is, this is a nice spot. So, you know, that's where I would have sat <laughs> and hung out. But, yeah, if you can get a look now at the sun, everything that's black is lithic material. It's just everywhere. So I'll take a minute, walk this area for a bit, have a look. Maybe we'll come across something, maybe not, but uh, it's getting hot. It's probably almost 90 degrees now, and we might need to wrap it up here shortly. So we'll have a look and go from there. Made my way back up to the top of another hill. It's got some good views up here, and the lithic material has gotten a little, uh, little less prevalent up here. However, I just I just came across, I don't know, can you see that? Yes, the camera is picking that up. It stands out right there. What is that? That is a point from a very different material. I'm not exactly sure what that material is. Possibly chert? I mean, it's green. Wow, that's, let's go in for a close-up. All right, here's a close-up of that, that piece. Uh, it's definitely been worked. There's no doubt about that. It's been shaped. Maybe it's, it's a broken point. You can see the tops fractured off and the bottom, but the material is interesting. I'm not exactly sure what the material is, but it definitely sticks out. There's no doubt about that. How interesting. Uh, I'd say this is a biface. It's been worked on both sides, a little more on this side, but that's pretty cool. Very interesting. Uh, look at this here. I'll mark this spot for sure. That's that's uh, unique. I think that's that's worth the that's worth the day right there. I think <laughs> that made my day. Something unique, you know. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap it right there. It's getting really hot and uh, too hot probably for the pooch. So we're gonna head back to the truck and get out of here. But another successful day out in the desert. Uh, we found some artifacts, not many, but we definitely found lots of evidence of the presence of people. Fantastic, it's fascinating. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. I have lots more content on the way. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It is free, it helps the channel tremendously. We wanna keep growing. So thanks again. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out, adios.